It's Street Fighter's 35th anniversary this year, and with it, we've been getting a little bit of news here and there, but just today, we got some cool announcements. Not only is Street Fighter 6 in active development, they just announced that, looking pretty slick, but there's really not much news going on on that end of things. I mean, there's going to be more news announced with Street Fighter 6 coming this summer, so look forward to that. Love me some Street Fighter. Really curious to see with the direction they go with Street Fighter 6. But one of the big announcements was the Capcom Fighting Collection. And I'm really, really looking forward to this one. There's a lot of cool features, neat things going on here. So this is going to be a collection that has 10 of Capcom's most famous competitive arcade games. It's right around the corners when it's coming out, June 24th, 2022. It's going to be available for Steam, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. And guess what? It's not just digital. We're going to have some physical editions as well. We'll take a look at the uh, box art for that in a moment. But yeah, I think with these 10 games that are going to be on this, some people are going to be really excited. I'm excited. I can't wait for this. But I'm also sure there's going to be people who wish there were certain other editions maybe. But I feel with the uh, Street Fighter 30th anniversary collection paired with this, I'm going to be pretty happy. I mean, that's the way I'm looking at it. With that whole collection plus this one, it's looking pretty sweet. So let, let's take a look at what we all got going on here. So the original arcade games with new features. So we're going to have like online mode. That's one of the big things. And we are going to have rollback net code. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But we got casual matches, ranked matches, custom matches, training mode, fighter awards. I'm not sure what is fighter awards, but it looks like you're going to get like little badges and stuff. And we have uh, different display filters we're going to be able to use. And then we have quality of life features, which are uh, kind of interesting. Button, uh, button customizations where you can like cheat. I, th I think it's almost like how uh, you can like set up moves to different button configs. I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, because normal button configurations and customizations is fairly standard. But I'm pretty sure with this, it's like assigning moves to buttons. So... Yeah, you know, it'll be accessible to a lot of people. Save states. And then the one thing that I always really enjoy is when they have this museum type stuff where you got design documents, art, music players, that kind of thing. I always love scrolling through that stuff and taking a look. So let's let's see what the game lineup is, right? So 10 of the, the greatest fighting classics ever. We get in Darkstalkers, Night Warriors, Vampire Savior, Vampire Hunter 2, Vampire Savior 2, uh, first time on home consoles, Red Earth, with that online play, man. Cyberbots, you're going to have, like, okay, these aren't all fighting games, man. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo is a puzzle game that incorporates fighting with, you know, Capcom characters. It's still a fun game. I really enjoy it, but I, I like uh, the, the Super Gem Fighter better. Mini Mix is going to be on there because it's a fighting game. It's a little cute, cutesy fight him, uh, fighter game. I enjoyed it back in the day when that came out. I still play it every once in a while. Hyper Street Fighter 2. So we're going to have that. Are these like clickable? Yeah, you can click on everything and, and take a look at the uh, the lineup here. So there you go. Nice little uh, set of games. ROM released 96 for Super Puzzle Fighter. Red Earth, uh, December 96. ROM version Japan, USA. Okay. Cyberbots, Full Metal Madness, 94. So I love the history of Capcom and all their fighting games. You know, Darkstalkers, Night Warriors. Um, this is going to be awesome. Comes out, uh, came out in 95. Vampire Savior, The Lord of the Vampire, 97. September 97, Vampire Hunter 2, Darkstalkers Revenge. Vampire Savior 2, The Lord of the Vampire, 97. Um, Hyper Street Fighter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hyper Street Fighter 2, the anniversary edition, came out October 2004. So there you go, Mini Mix 97. So yeah, pretty pretty cool stuff. So there was the set of games that we're going to be getting. Now here's a little bit more uh, detail on the features that we're getting with this. So online play, that's going to be a big thing. With casual matches here, you're going to choose the game you want to play, be matched up with somebody close to your skill level, and then it does note that cross-platform matchmaking is not supported. So that's a little unfortunate um, doesn't say that for the other matches, so I'm not I'm not 100% if that's just for casual, but at the same time, I mean, pick the platform that 
you know your friends are going to be playing on or that you figure more people are going to be available to play against on. I'm going to be grabbing it for the Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we got all the different uh, online play options here. Uh, ranked matches gain league points per game for each victory, but don't let your guard down. You'll also lose points when defeated. You'll earn top spots on leaderboards and whatnot. Custom matches choose with single, which single or multiple games to play from and set up your own rules for a custom lobby that uh, you can host up to nine other players. Players waiting for their turn can even watch the current battle live. What? Pretty sweet. Training mode, the fighter awards. Okay, so we get to see what this is about. Need some extra goals? Shoot for Check out the fighter awards menu to track your progress. Uh, in each game for each character and ending, can you complete them all? Okay. Display filters. Uh, replicate classic feel of the originals. Uh, reproduce analog monitor, arcade monitor, and more. So looks like they're going to be doing some work with display filters. Have to see how that works out. And then the quality of life. Okay. Bust out special moves with a single button. So it is what I was assuming it was. You can freely customize the button controls or key, bind, key binds to what works for you. If you're having trouble with inputs for special moves, don't fret. Just sign one button, special moves button, and execute them with ease. One button special moves are not available in ranked matches. That's that's an important thing. Um, I, you know, accessibility, allowing more people to play um, is is a good thing, in, in my opinion. Having a little one button special Ah, uh, not a not a bad thing, but in ranked matches, yeah, you want everybody like if you're taking it serious and you want to be ranked, everybody's got to be on that even playing field, you know, because I'm sure people could come up with some crazy quick combos and, and and stuff with these special move buttons. So ranked matches, it makes sense. You can't have that. You can't have that that single button combo stuff. So I, I understand it. I appreciate it. I'm cool with it. Museum, check out the gallery. 500 individual pages of art and design. See, I love that, man. When they put so much into it, 500 pages of art. That's like bigger than an art book you would get. You know, I know it's it's a digital thing. It's it's boom on there. But just to like, if you got nothing going on, you just want to, you know, kind of admire some artwork. I think it's cool, man. Scrolling through, looking at some concept stuff. Design documentation. I think that's really neat. And then this is really cool, too, is the music. Museum contains a music player with over 400 tracks uh, from the classic games as well as original tracks made for this collection. So that's pretty cool, man. A little music player to have that much content in one place. Come on, man. I think that's pretty, pretty sweet. So there was all that. Let's take a look at the uh, box arts real quick. I know they're on here. I know they're on here. Product information. There we go. So the standard version, going to be physical. And I love that box art. It looks pretty slick, man. Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. Um, got Cami up there getting a little blocked by the Switch logo, unfortunately. But, you know, not the best representation of the box art. But, you know, a little cut off because, you know, Switch case is smaller than everything else. But, uh, you know, hey. I'm be playing the game, not staring at the freaking box. So, like, what do I care, right? There's gonna be digital versions for everything, physical versions, and then the fighting bundle, which um, I'm sure, yeah, that's just gonna be a digital thing. So, this is gonna have the uh, Capcom Fighting Collection and the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary. I believe this digital is supposed to be 60 bucks, and then this is gonna be a 40 dollar game. I believe that is what I have seen as far as pricing goes. And I think that's fine. I'm cool with it, man. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited for this. Capcom Fighting Collection. Have that, that rollback net code. Looking forward to that, man. Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.